praise the Lord. Uh, welcome to uh, today's daily walk, uh, the 26th of May, 2020. Heavenly Father, we appreciate you this morning. We give you praise. We honor you. We thank you for your word, for the entrance of your word, give it light. Bring upon our hearts. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for the light that we break forth. Uh, the grace to journey into this light. We give you praise. We thank you, our Father. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Hallelujah. Once again, welcome. Uh, the topic of uh, today's daily work is understanding the gospel of the kingdom. Uh, it's very important for us to uh, have understanding of the message of the kingdom. Now, understanding is uh, a key to fruitfulness. Uh, the essence of the gospel is uh, for the gospel to bring forth fruit in our lives. So when we don't understand the gospel and the teachings of Christ, uh, there will not be understanding. Our test message today is in Hebrew chapter 1, verse 3. Uh, Hebrew chapter 1, verse 3, I was talking about uh, Jesus being the brightness of God's glory and the express image of the Father. So which means Jesus is the brightness of the glory. Jesus is the express image of God. He is the express image of God. Uh, the meditation scripture is, uh, is Colossians chapter 1 verse 19. For it pleased the Father, it pleased the Father that in Christ should all fullness do well. Now the fullness we're talking about is the fullness of God. That in Christ will all the fullness of God do well. Uh, so the gospel of the kingdom, like we said, is the message of our Lord Jesus Christ. So there was a message that Jesus was, was teaching. Uh, if you check the uh, Bible, all that Jesus has been teaching, the gospel of the kingdom, the gospel of the kingdom, the gospel of the kingdom is like this, is like that, and so I went to so. So all this emphasis was the kingdom of God. Uh, so the gospel of the kingdom, it is the proclamation of the eternal realities of the kingdom of God on earth. Now they bring in the realities in heaven upon the earth. Like Jesus said, uh, thy kingdom come upon the earth. In other words, the life of the kingdom, the civilization, everything about the kingdom, the way it operates in heaven, now let it be here upon uh, the earth. Praise God. So in a simple definition, in a simple definition, we could say that the, we could say that the gospel of the kingdom is a redemptive love message. It's a redemptive love message uh, that gears towards restoration of creation, uh, to restore creation from depravity, which is the fallen nature. Now, because humanity fell in Adam, and in Christ, our uh, humanity is to be restored to the to the image and the likeness of God, which is the excess of the gospel of the kingdom. So, it's a, a restoration of creation from depravity to God's eternal blueprint. Now, in the scale of divinity, so that restoration is not completed until man come to full divinity. Now, embedded with the power for proclamation of God's reign of righteousness. Now, the gospel of the kingdom is the power of God unto salvation. It is that power that will bring us to the righteous you know, reign of God and endless life upon creation. Now, activation and complete realization of divine functionality. Praise God. So uh, a complete realization of divine functionality. So until we begin to see men walk like Christ, walk in divinity, we have not realized you know, you know, what the gospel of the kingdom is meant for. Now John chapter 2 verse 6 said, He that said he abided in him ought himself to walk even as Jesus walked. That's the exact functionality or realization of divine functionality. So we are to function like Jesus. We are to walk like Jesus. We are to 
um, to have the judgment of, 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 of Christ. We are, we are to, 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 to administer life just like Jesus. That's actually why the creation, why the heaven, why the earth, they are all waiting for the manifestations of the source of God. Praise God. Now, it is a message of righteousness. It is a message, it is the unfolding of the life and the faith of the Son of God. It is a message that is geared to us, uh, 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 the ushering of divine order of life. Is to bring divine order of life upon the earth. Now, right now, what we're seeing everywhere is chaos, anarchy, lawlessness. But what God desire is 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 a is a divine order of life, civilization, and immortality, immortal life upon creation. So the gospel of the kingdom is the unveiling of the life of God that will translate men men uh, to Christ. Just to change man from uh, ordinary man from flesh to become Christ. So that's 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 what the gospel of the kingdom is set for to, uh, to 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 achieve. Hallelujah. So the gospel of the kingdom is all about uh, the life and the kingdom of God. It is all about our Lord Jesus Christ. For it pleases the Father that all the fullness of God should dwell should dwell in God. Hallelujah. All the fullness of God should dwell in Christ Jesus. The God of the kingdom seek to establish righteous nature of God and the will of God in man and uh, over the entire creation. So until this is realized, we have not seen the dividend of the gospel of the kingdom. So most of the teachings and the, 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 the messages men approach it and not aligning uh, or to realize this end. That's why in the time and in the season we are, praise God, we must embrace, we must have understanding of the gospel of the kingdom. Praise God. Now the highlight of uh, today's message is that the gospel of the kingdom is the unfolding of the life and uh, the faith of the Son of God. is unfolding the life and the faith of the Son of God, so that all men will embrace and live by the faith of the Son of God. Just like Apostle Paul said, uh, that the life I live now is no longer mine, so I live by the faith of the Son of God. I live by the faith. So we have to drop the earth life and the take upon us the life and the faith of the Son of God. Hallelujah. So we, we are yielding ourselves uh, to the gospel of Christ. We are trusting the Lord uh, for grace, for mercy, to yield to the life of the kingdom, uh, to his power and his glory in the name of Jesus. Benediction for the day. I pray that the Lord will uh, favor your righteous cause. All that you set forth your hands and your hearts to do this day. It's my prayer that the Lord will favor it. He will favor it, grant you grace, uh, you know, and grant you access uh, to his riches today in the name of Jesus. God bless you. See you tomorrow as you follow us on Daily Walk every day.